Hi everyone. Good morning. I am Srinivasa from VCube Software Solutions. Today we will discuss about conditional control flow statements. So it is like why we use conditional control flow statements in uh, programs and what are the different types of conditional control flow statements we are having and all uh, we discuss now. So first. <laughs> So it is like, for example, in your program, if you want to take some decision, so we use con uh, conditional control flow statements. So it is like, uh, for example, if I want to decide whether the given number is a positive number or negative number. So first, uh, you already know we need to read that number. So like this. So by using the input method, we read the number. Once you read the number, you have to check a condition. To check the condition, we have to use the conditional flow statements. It is like if num greater than zero, so it means you are writing some block of statements. It is like if the num is greater than zero, you are executing one block, else you are executing another block. So here, if you closely observe, I have just kept colon colon represents the intendation in python so intendation means so if you want to implement some block of statements we use the intendation so when you have the intendation all the next statements should be having some number of spaces meaning all the statements within that if block should maintain the same number of statements for example i am writing something like this here so it is like a positive number and for example you if i write something like you know print uh, end of if so here i am having two statements in the if block so those two statements should maintain the equal number of spaces it is mandatory and coming to the else part here also you have to maintain the same number of spaces for the uh, uh, block of state else block of statements here when you are talking about a block you should you should maintain the equal number of spaces from the starting of the screen so it is like you know here uh, uh, once if it is not an positive number it can be negative or zero and here i'm just writing end of else okay so this program is used to find whether the given number is positive number or a negative number so here by using the if conditional flow control statement i am checking one condition if this condition is true if this condition is true i am executing the if block if the condition is false we are executing the else block that's it so here what i am trying to highlight is if you want to take a decision in your program we should use the conditional control flow statements okay so let me execute this so so see it is asking for enter a number if i enter 10 so 10 is greater than 0 so it is saying pause to number and end of if for example uh, you run again and if you give the negative number like you know minus 9 it is clearly saying negative or zero so in any real time program conditional flow statements plays an important role because without this conditional flow statements there is no program existed so it is uh, i mean uh, uh, what uh, uh, the importance of the conditional flow statements is if you want to take a decision in the program you have to use conditional control flow statements so this is i mean if else is one type of uh, the conditional flow statements we are having uh, two other types also it is like uh, if else if ladder and nested if so before going to them so i would like to highlight one point here for example you have created two blocks one if block and another else block for example if you want to start the new line so again you need to start from the starting of the screen like this so i am uh, i am 
including a new statement which is not related to if block or not related to else block so if i want to keep uh, keep one statement which is not related to any of the if and else block so i need to start that statement from the starting of the string so like this end of the program okay so if you run it in all, if you run the program in all the places i mean whether it is a positive number or whether it is a negative or zero so end of the program will be printed because i have included the end of the program this statement as the new statement okay so and one more important thing i would like to highlight you cannot start the new statement in between the if and else if you start some some statement i mean uh, uh with in between the uh, if and else it will throw an error because if and else are dependent to each other meaning you you cannot have only else without if you can have only if but you cannot have only else without if okay so that is the reason as they are dependent to each other so you cannot keep the new statement in between the if and else like this so in the uh, end of if block so i'm just writing some statements that's it if you write i mean if you uh, keep some statement in between the if and else it throws an error hope i am making sense okay so here if you want to start the new statement you want to start outside the if and else block um, uh, but you should not keep that statement within the if and else so this is uh, one example so for example um, i want to check whether the given number is a uh, positive number or negative number or zero so generally you now in uh, our minds so uh, we think like you know if uh, num greater than zero we say it is positive number if it uh, if the num is less than zero we say it is negative number if the number equal to equal to zero we say it is uh, the zero so like you know we generally try to like uh, try to write the program like this as we are having three condition checks here so i am uh, writing like this so it is like negative number and so i include another uh, condition like this so it is zero so here what i am trying to highlight is i am just uh, removing the else so here what i am trying to highlight is for example if you want to find um, whether the given number is positive or negative or zero you have to use three condition checks but if you use three independent condition checks unnecessarily every time these three conditions will be checked for example if you are checking positive number so once the number is positive you don't need to check the negative condition and you don't need to check the equal to equal zero condition am i correct but in this example so if you enter the positive number it is unnecessarily checking the negative negative condition and the zero case also here in the real time when you are writing any program you have to keep few things in mind like you know very first thing is you want to avoid the unnecessary condition checks because if you have some unnecessary condition checks in your program your program will take some extra time to do the unnecessary checks so to avoid the unnecessary checks only we are having the concept of if else if ladder so it is like here i now you can keep n number of dependent conditions in the previous example i kept th three individual condition checks so that if your number is positive number uh, uh, still it is checking for negative condition and it is checking for the zero condition also which is uh, unnecessary in the case of positive number right so when i change our program to if else if ladder so these three conditions are now dependent on each other so it is like if the number is greater than zero it will never go for negative check and it will never go for zero if the number is not positive then only it comes to the negative check 
uh, uh, if the number is not negative, then only it comes to the zero check. So by using if else if ladder, we can uh, uh, you know implement a uh, I can in other terms I can say in by using if else if ladder, you can reduce the unnecessary checks so that your program performance will be increased. So this is if else if ladder. So we are having another type of um, conditional flow statements. They are nested if nested if. So for example, if you want to check whether the given number is um, a positive even, so we can use the nested if like this. If first I am checking whether the given number is positive number or not. If it is positive number, then I am uh, inside the if block. We are checking whether the given number is even number or not so we already know even number means if any number divided by two and if you get the remainder zero uh, we call that number as even number so once I, uh, after the pause to check i am checking whether the given number is even number or not so i do like you know so so here I am keeping else for uh, inside if so for this even number check if I am keeping the else if it is not even number it will be positive odd number okay so now I am coming out of the um, if block main if block and I am keeping else for the tip block so here I am just writing like you know negative r zero so with this what i would like to make you understand is so you can keep if inside another if we call that as nested if so based on our requirement we will choose whatever the conditional flow statements we want to use in our program for example if you have only one condition check you use simple if if you have two conditions like you know if else and if you have multiple dependent conditions, we use if else if ladder. And if you have something, you know, uh, how to be checked in a nested way, we use the nested if. Okay, that's it. Thank you.